I might be Peter Parker. Or Tony Stark. <laughs> you decide. Anyway, I think we should build this. So let's build it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy. And comment below any questions that you guys might have. I'll try my best at responding to any questions that you might have, so let's do it. I'm very excited today to bring you one of the coolest projects I've ever worked on, a working Spider-Man mask. By the end of this video, you'll be able to have your own Spider-Man mask. And it can wink. Kinda just gets cooler and cooler. <laughs> and by the end of this video, I hope you guys will be equipped to build your own. So let's do it. Ever since I was a kid, Spider-Man was my favorite superhero, and as I've grown up, it still is one of my favorite superheroes, along with Iron Man, as I'm sure all of you guys know. And so when I saw this project, I immediately had to jump on it. If you guys have been following me for a little bit, you know that I like 3D printing and wiring and modeling and that type of thing. And so today, I get to bring all of those skills together to create my very own working Spider-Man mask and teach you guys how you guys can do it as well. So in order to start this project, you guys are going to need a few things. Don't worry if you don't have a 3D printer, I have a way around that. So obviously the first step in printing anything or building anything is you need a file. And well one day I was scrolling on my YouTube, I came across this guy named Sean's Craft. And I've been watching this guy for a while and I was really excited to see his Spider-Man mask that moved. He 3D printed his mask. And if you guys know him, he's been making incredible creations out of cardboard that just completely blow my mind. And in this video, he made the switch to a 3D printer. So you better believe I was really excited to see how he accomplished this. And so today, this tutorial is gonna be combining some of the things that Sean's Crafts added, as well as the original file tutorial and my own tutorial to bring you guys the easiest possible way you can do this yourself. So we're gonna go to Etsy to buy the 3D file. This 3D file does look complex, but I promise you it's not as bad as it looks. The wiring looks very confusing and might be scary, but I promise it's not that bad and we have a different way that we're gonna go about it. In the 3D file description, it has the list of resources that you can use. I will also be linking them down below, so make sure to go check out my Amazon storefront where I have this whole project and everything that I used to complete it. There will also be a little bit of extra things in there, such as a soldering iron, wire cutters, and smaller things that you guys might not have, but you might have. So just be aware of what I use in this, you might already have, but when it comes to the electronics, make sure that you're paying attention to what I use so you can order it yourself. Once we have the 3D file, it's broken into different sections. We're gonna go ahead and start printing all of the sections that we need, including the face shell, the eyes, the mechanical pieces, the eyelids, and all of that type of stuff. And if you don't have a 3D printer to print this, I highly recommend you go to a website where you can outsource 3D print. Basically, that means that someone else prints it for you and then ships it to you. I'm not 100% sure how expensive it will be. It will be a little bit more than if you did have a 3D printer, but I recommend you do it if this is something that you want to do. The only thing where it can get a little bit tricky is figuring out all of the pieces to print. I promise it's not that confusing, but it can look a little bit overwhelming. At this part, I'd recommend you follow the tutorial that was provided with your Etsy link so that you guys can print the exact amount of pieces. So after we printed everything, I started to wire it all, and this is where we kind of ran into our first issue. As you can see, this responds to my finger, but when I try to click the other one, nothing happens. Because the IR sensors don't work, we're actually gonna code this first and ask AI. So now we're in the office, and we're gonna code this thing. So in order to figure out how we're gonna code this, we're gonna take the original code from the Etsy file, and we're gonna throw it into ChatGPT, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell it we don't have the IR sensors, we're actually gonna use the limiter switch, and then we're gonna tell it what we want the limiter switch to do. So for example, every time that I hold my chin up against it, I want the eyes to close, and then when I let go, I want them to release, and then if I click it twice, I want it to wink in one eye. And you know, you can't really code without a keyboard. Huge shout out to Keychron. Thank you so much for sending me your Q3 HE keyboard. We're gonna go ahead and throw the code in here, ask ChatGPT to mess with it, then we're gonna see if it works. But first, we're gonna have to rewire it. So as I just showed you guys, we ran into that issue, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unwire our sensors from this and then add a limiter switch in, and hopefully that'll be able to work. So when I threw the code into ChatGPT, it actually told me what to desolder and what to wire it to, so we're just doing that now. We officially got it all wired. Let's go ahead and throw our code on there, see what happens. After using ChatGPT to rewrite the code, it's time to put all of the mechanical pieces together. If this part confuses you, I recommend you go to the original tutorial video, but what we're going and doing is we're filing down all the mechanical pieces so that they kind of slide in perfectly, just like this, and there's no resistance when they move. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put all the pieces in there together, and it's pretty straightforward as long as you follow the tutorial. The next thing that we had to do was screw on the eyes. I used a screwdriver, which probably wasn't the best idea, 
but then we went ahead and we glued the eyelids together and this is what's going to be inside to allow it to open and close just like we want it to they also have to go in a certain weird order so make sure that you follow the tutorial for that so that it's perfect so once we got them on the inside i went ahead and i used a very small drill bit just so that we could screw in the holes so that we can end up screwing the servo bases on the inside of there and then we kind of had to put the servo base together which is going to allow the eyelids to open and close so it like attaches onto the top as you can see in the top Now that everything's secure, our goal is to put everything inside the mask and make sure that it sits perfectly. So let's do it. So I went ahead and put the Arduino Nano in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery packs where they belong as well as the other switches. This right here is a very important switch. This is what allows it to turn on and off. I'm just gonna hot glue this to the tip right here. And this one. I'm gonna go ahead and tape these wires together and then hot glue them down. So the thing that I have to figure out right now is where to put this button because I want it to hit my chin perfectly, but I need to make sure that when I put it on, it doesn't automatically hit my chin. So I put it down here, we're gonna see if that works. Okay. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. See how that works. Here we go. Perfect. So since we got that done, the next step in our process is to make like the clear lenses that go on the inside of the mask. So I took this plastic and then I used a blow dryer to kind of warm them up and then form them. And then I took this like material and I put them on the inside there. As you can see here, we've got the lenses on the inside. It looks good. Everything's working well. Everything is also in place. So since we got the base shell done, we got to figure out how to make it look like Spider-Man. A few years ago, I had a Spider-Man costume that came with a Spider-Man mask. I decided we were going to rip that apart and put it on my mask. And oh boy, I cut the eyes out and it caused these two big holes that were perfect to fit on my mask. We got one side on, this is very hard. So I'm just gonna do the other side and hopefully see how it looks. All right, now we're back in the lab. We've got the fabric on, which was such a pain, but looks great. Now all we have to do is put these lenses back on and then we're done. So we're kind of repeating the process with the lens. We're gonna heat them up with a blow dryer, kind of form them around. And then I use this Loctite glue, which is on my Amazon storefront. This stuff is so strong, so be careful with it, but it works incredibly. This one's down. Let's do this one. The last thing that we had to do was put our switch in place. I decided to go ahead and put it up here to like flip like this when it's on. I don't know if you can see the light. Yep, there's a light. Yeah, so let's see if it works. So this is how it looks, it looks awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on, there we go. And when I click it, perfect. Two clicks, wink, hold it down, close. All that to say, I might be Peter Parker. Huh. Anyway, I'm so excited to be placing this on one of the bills that I've made. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Comment below your questions, I will do my best to help you guys with this. I'm for you guys. I know you can do it. I promise it's not that hard. You guys got this. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. I've got some really cool projects upcoming. We did that.